Okay guys, so in the last video, we made the sturdy woodworking bench and what you didn't see off camera was I coated the top with uh, two coats of boiled linseed oil. That gives it a lot of protection. It's great for workbenches. So now it's dry. So now we can start to uh, get this thing mobile. Because it's so heavy and I need to still fold it up and put it away in the corner, I can't just lift it, bring it over there and then tip it over. But what I found was a great solution. Kind of like what I have on my table saw and my band saw and my jointer kick up the wheels and that lifts it up off the ground onto the wheel. I can move it where I need to move it and then I can just kick the flat back down and it'll drop the workbench right back on its legs and that'll not only make it more sturdy that it's sitting on its own legs but I don't have to worry about you know shaking and racking back and forth on locking casters because you know casters they tend to tip because they don't have a, a you know a wide base. So I came up with this solution here the uh, Powertech Workbench Casters. I found these online. Now, different companies make these, Rockler and Powertech. They're, you know, basically all the same thing. But what you do is you install this piece on the leg of the workbench. And when you kick down this plate right here, what it does is it pushes the wheel onto the floor and it lifts up the bench three quarters of an inch. When you lift this plate back up, the wheel goes with it and it drops the workbench right back down on its leg, making it immobile. So we need to make it mobile and then immobile when we're gonna use it and then roll it off to the side when we don't need it and fold it up. So let's get started with that. There's some measurements we gotta take, some plates that I put on the legs, just to make it easier to, to attach it. So let's let's get to work. First thing I wanna do, lay out my parts. So get the box, dump everything on the bench, get the box out of the way, get the instructions. Okay, here's my bag of hardware. We need that. We've got four casters and four plates. So now, instructions is telling you what you have and it also tells you your measurements. So, the plate obviously goes in this direction on the workbench legs. The top hole has to be, in the center of the hole, has to be four and three quarters inches up from the bottom of the leg and the bottom screw through the hole here has to be two inches. So what I'll do is I'll put them on there and I'll measure with a uh, combination square and then I'll mark where I need to drill. Maybe I'll clamp them in place and drill them with whatever is going to work because we're going to be down on the bottom here. So I'll make it easier. We're going to leave it the way it is standing up and I'm going to do that now. Make the marks, drill it out, attach it. Then we can fix the wheels. It should take 10 minutes, maybe less. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is find my center here and the center is just going to be right between where the two two by fours meet. Essentially what I had in mind here was to make a 4x4 leg without having to use a 4x4 because I can't get them in this area untreated. So, I'm just going to mark that there, come down a little bit so this way I have more of a reference. And that's my center. Now, what I need to do is the hole needs to be 4 and 3 quarters. So, let's set this to 4 and 3 quarters, which is right there. Okay, lock that in place, and let's get a true reading here and make it register correctly. I'm gonna go from the bottom, and right there, and I'm just gonna make my mark here. And now I have four and three quarters where this plate has to go right there, centered. Center of the hole has to be four and three quarters. I'm gonna pre-drill right there. I'll attach this screw. Then that'll automatically give me the two inches from the bottom that I need for the bottom hole. Tighten it up. And then essentially the idea, as you step on this, it will lift the bench three quarters of an inch up onto the wheel, be able to roll it. So let me tighten this up. I'll do the other three and we'll give it a test. Okay guys, check this out. Here it goes. I kicked the other two up already. I'm going to kick these up now. This workbench just became about 250 pounds of heavy duty work material that I wouldn't be able to move around to the most unbelievably easy 
five pound move it with one finger system. This thing's great. And then all I gotta do is move it to the location I want. Let's say uh, I need to work on it right here. Let's go. Put it like this right behind my table saw. Drop this down, drop this down. Come to the other side, kick these down. And there it is. Starting as a rock right behind the table saw. Could be the outfeed table, could be my assembly table. Move it off to the side, throw it in the corner. And that's it, guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and come back next time where I'm going to install a nice woodworking carpenter's vice right here on the end. Do some hand plane work. All right, it's going to be cool. So stick around, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, see you next time.